Hello YouTube, this is XXXMan360 here, and welcome back to another episode of Fan Refiles. Today we are looking at 22000.132-x64.iso. Thank you to Door257 on my Discord server for sending me this file. Now, there are actually other ISOs on this website. He sent the link to, but I picked the most recent one because, you know, why the f not? <laughs> Anyways, without further ado, let's take a look at this. It's the Windows 11 install, which I kind of already have it tried out, but since this is a later build, uh, we'll go for some of the different. Plus, I also enabled EFI mode. UEFI, UEFI mode, yeah. So we'll go through the setup, and then we'll just take a look at it, which I have made a review video about Windows 11. Uh, pretty good OS. Uh, looks like Windows 10X, and uh, which was a cancelled unfortunately. But this, I know it's got new opportunities that are awaiting. Only problem is that dumb TPM stuff. Oh well, hopefully that won't be a big problem for people in the future. Let's get into installing Windows 11. I don't have a product here. Uh, description Windows 11. Now it still says Windows 10, which I guess that means Windows 11 is still not legit, is it? Oh well. <laughs> See, um... Hmm. Uh, well, I don't have time to read all that. Why, why do they make these so long? Like, oh my god. Okay, let's go. Um, make our new drive. Now for me, like what, uh, actually, you know what? Here's what I like to do. I delete the other partitions and, uh, yeah, I guess it's different on UFI, so like I have no choice but to install it here, so yeah, I, I'm fine with that. So yeah, we got, we got, we have no choice. It's just something that's uh, insured by UFI, I guess for security reasons, because on regular BIOS you could actually just put the entire OS on one partition and not have to make any other smaller ones, which means that gives you more opportunities to dual boot. But then again, the GPT style of disks, they do allow a lot more partitions, so maybe that won't be a problem after all. I just thought it, you know, worth noting that MBR lets you install it on one partition, UFI requires several. But we look at the grand scheme of things, MBR only allows four partitions, while GPT allows up to 128. That's quite the advantage, so no real problems whatsoever. So uh, I'll let this uh, go through, and I'll get back to uh, regular speed after it's completed. Alright, my friends, we are in the next exciting part of Windows 11, the setup. Now, uh, it's a bit laggy because I, have, I haven't given that much video memory and I, that's not good on me, but uh, yeah, I'll, it shouldn't be too much of a problem for what we're doing. Um, anyway, so let's, uh, so I mentioned that it looks like macOS and uh, this, this is where I got like, um, that idea from it because I can see like Mac OS this is those blurred colors and the rounded edges. Yes I am Canadian if you didn't know that already. 
uh, from my train videos, of course. Um, Alright, still have a United States keyboard. Uh, nope. I really like it, it looks cool. It's different than what Microsoft typically goes for in uh, their operating system. It's cool how they've changed so much over the years. So right now we're checking for updates. So, uh, there can't be too much because Windows 11 really isn't the big deal at the moment, is it? Okay, yeah, we'll set up for personal use because, yeah. Uh, no, we don't. Uh, can I just skip? Come on. Uh, come. I guess at this point they're not going to let me go by, but you know what? You guys can't see my password anyway. Oh crap. There we go. <laughs> uh pin man, Microsoft is really going through with everything. I'm sure you guys probably know what it is. <laughs> oh, come on. Can I just... Uh... Screw you, Microsoft. Ugh. Like, you're good in other fields, but you're just, like, intentionally making the pins aggressively c complicated to do. Even though you say they're so simple and easy to set up. Hey, you found my name. Uh, this is a new device, and I will censor that because no one really needs to know who I am, except for people in my Discord server, because they respect me enough, they are willing to join my... My group. This is something I do all the time. There's nothing ever good from this, and you should always click no. It does not benefit you in any way. They just pretend to make it look like it does. Okay, after an eternity, we are at the desktop. Now, first things first, we want to get that whole screen made use of, right? Um, let's see if Windows 11 is smart enough to know how to do this already. Screen. Yeah, I find a search and screen simple enough. Uh, how about res o -lu. Okay. Change the resolution of the display. Okay, Windows 11 is not smart enough. So you know what we will do? We're going to insert the guest add-ons. Guest add-ons will install drivers that allow VirtualBox to properly communicate with Windows 11. And Windows 11 properly communicates with VirtualBox. And then you get the full experience. We're gonna install.
Now, let's quickly restart. Uh, I heard the startup sound, but I don't see the start. Hey, Windows 11, come out. Mm, my name. Only Discord members will really know my name. True fans know my real name. But truer fans will know my real face. Only a very, very small amount of people have seen my face. And you will be able to see it too when I hit 10k. But only the closest fans have seen my face. Now, without further ado, let's get into the Windows resolution now. Okay, right. Uh, settings. Come on, why is this so slow? I don't appreciate. Okay, it's doing something. It really is. Whew! All right. <laughs> well, now that's nice and big. Um. Okay. Well, I guess uh, first thing I should probably want to do make it dark because oh my god, bright it hurts my eyes more than you could imagine. Themes dark. Get me the dark one. No, no, no. I need it. Ah. You know what's fun to do on virtual machines? Install viruses. So, what better way to do bad things than to, uh, let's, you know, get some fun viruses. Come on. Microsoft Edge, I didn't come here for an infinite uh, long ad, okay? Holy <laughs> Ugh. Alright. Um, memes virus download. So I can destroy the computer. Let's go to YouTube. Uh, right. Oh, it's the classic memes 3.0. That's the one without the warning, isn't it? Alright, uh... Oh, I gotta stop. The... Let's go to Windows Defender and turn it off. Oh, I like uh, virus, antivirus, virus and threat protection. And this shall allow on device. All right, it's good. See the details. So now, um, is it on our computer? Oh, I guess we gotta re-download it, huh? Okay. Oh, come on, stop it. I wanna, I wanna kill the computer.
Perfect. Here we go. A malicious file. Ignore Windows malware warning and run anyway. Time to kill virtual machine. Oh, I know it's bad. Your computer has been by the memes, Trojan. Your computer won't boot up again, so use it as long as you can. Trying to kill memes will cause your system to be destroyed instantly, so don't try it. Fair enough. Now then, let's just uh, ignore all this and get straight into doing the thing that will just make this worse. Oh god. This stuff's already happening. An open command prompt has admin. Uh, okay. And so, memes uh, corrupts the partition table and rewrites the MPR. But what it doesn't do is destroy the system. So now... We will do it ourselves. There he is. <laughs> He's going fast. Well, thank you, Door257, for sending this in. And to anyone else who is watching, if you'd like to send me your own software or operating system, just head down to my Discord server and look for the channel that says, Give me software here. You can submit it there, and I will show it on YouTube. That is all, and thank you for 